Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it has been a very long time since I've recorded really anything, and I'm hoping that now I'm getting back into the swing of things since finals are coming, and soon I will not be in classes anymore. Um, but this is my March plan with me. It's a little late because I straight up forgot to edit it. <laughs> it was filmed on time and I just totally forgot to edit it, so I apologize for it being a little late. Um, we we're just flipping through what I did in February. I had a really simple February monthly setup and my March monthly setup is also very simple. But I've kind of discovered some things, even though I haven't really been 100% with my bullet journal. I really hate <laughs> doing spreads where any part of the future days are laid out. I really hate it. I just kind of like to, to go with the flow and just kind of add and journal as I move on. So I'm kind of taking that into consideration with March. But one thing that I did really, really like was my little gratitude and faith spread. I just thought that it was a little bit too big to have it on two spreads, so it's just on one this month. But we are jumping in to my little calendar, and I don't think that I glued anything in in this plan with me, which is super weird for me. I'm always adding like pictures and things to my um, plan with me's and everything. I'm always pasting in uh, like random things, even just random pictures from Unsplash. So it was a little strange to not glue anything in, but I still really like how this monthly spread came out. I am filming this the day, well, I'm filming the voiceover at least, the day before this video goes up, and I haven't bullet journaled the last couple days. Um, I'm planning on getting into my journal after this actually, while I watch a live stream, and yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, I just like having my like quiet little time or watching like a really chill live stream on Twitch or even like studio vlogs, even like old ones on um, on YouTube. I watch a lot of Cheyenne Barton, if you follow me on Instagram you know that. Um, and I actually just signed up for her Patreon. I signed up for Sarah Fabers as well. Uh, I can link both of those people below. Hopefully I remember, <laughs> but they're just, I just really like their studio vlogs because they're very like chill. Um, <laughs> so I usually put a goals box underneath my pretty calendar for the month just to kind of write down some things to think about. This month I have about two weeks of school and then two weeks of absolutely nothing before I start my co-op job. So I'm in a co-op program. I'm in school for six months and then I am working a job for the other six months of the year. So I'll be working until the end-ish of September, middle to end of September. So that job is starting at the end of this month. But during those two weeks, I'm actually moving. <laughs> So I'm staying within the same building. This table that I'm working on is a table that I got from a buy nothing group and it's going to be my dining room table because I'm finally moving into a one bedroom apartment and I'm finally going to have an actual dining room. My desk is not going to be anywhere near my bed and I'm so excited to move. But for the most part, just because I'm moving literally down the hall, I don't really have to pack things up too much, but I am getting a new desk. My current desk is going to become my like painting messy workstation kind of desk because it's pretty scuffed up and I'm getting, well, I'm building a new desk using an Ikea countertop and some legs. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm very excited to have like a nice big one bedroom apartment. It faces mostly north, so like the living room windows face north and then my bedroom windows face north and east because it's a corner unit. So I'm really excited for that. I have a view of like Center City and I can see like the Comcast building and all of that stuff. So it's really like pretty view and a really like busy kind of view. My current view faces west into University City, if you know Philadelphia at all, <laughs> you kind of know what I'm talking about. And there's like 
I'm kind of like the tallest building until you hit um, the river and like cross the river into University City. So I have this like big kind of like panoramic view right now, but like this new view will be very like busy. Like I can see the street, I can see the skyline, I can see like a lot more stuff. So I think that'll be an exciting change. So I'm <laughs> very much looking forward to that. I'm definitely over planning it, but as of today, it's. 24 days away so I'm hoping to go to Ikea with my parents and their big car and buy the things that I need the weekend before so that they can drive the car back into the city for me but the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm a crazy person and I printed out the floor plan of my apartment I made sure to cut off all of the like identifying details but my building also has like 250 units in it so it would take you a long time to find me if you really wanted to stalk me and you knew my like street address and everything and if you order something like my I'm I'm planning on getting a PO box it's on the list of things to do this year before I open the shop but as of right now like if you've ever ordered something from me which is mostly just family members my return address is on there just without my apartment number so it's yeah it is what it is um, but I decided to make this little spread just to kind of write down the things that I'm thinking about wanting, the things that I know that I need, um, some like different things to take into consideration because this apartment is, the new apartment is essentially my current apartment but with a bedroom kind of tacked onto it and then the kitchen is a little different so I have like an actual like pantry in my kitchen now which is so nice. Um, it's not like huge or anything, it's just like another cabinet, <laughs> but uh, the kitchen is also like a little bit smaller, like there's less counter space, so like I want to get a bar cart and I think I'll put like um, like tea stuff on it and mugs just to kind of free up some space in my actual cabinet, so there's stuff like that that I'm kind of taking into consideration. Um, oh yeah, that's my heat gun. I bought a heat gun <laughs> during this month-long break and I've been painting more but I've also kind of gotten into paint markers so maybe I'll make a video about that. I haven't um, planned my March content calendar at all <laughs> so <laughs> I have some work to do but I am I'm trying really really hard to get back on track with YouTube and everything because I, I do miss editing. I like sitting down and talking and going through everything and making it look all pretty and picking out titles and the music and everything. I love all of this and I just I just needed a break and it's fine. A lot of things have happened during this break. Uh, some unfortunate family stuff happened. Uh, oh my gosh, it's almost been a month since that happened, which is so strange. Um, but we're going to be dealing with that for a while, so I, I'm not over it. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll be over it for a very long time, but for right now, when there's nothing that I can do and nothing going on that I can do to help my parents, my aunt and my uncle, anything, like there's nothing going on where I need to be somewhere else to help them do something, I need to be content with it, so moving on getting back into my flow of things, getting excited about my job, and excited to get through finals and be done with this quarter because I'm so done with school right now. Um, but we've kind of buzzed through, I don't know why I said buzzed, I meant breezed. We've breezed through this little plan with me. Obviously it's very simple. I don't do a lot of monthly spreads. I do a lot of daily logging as you can kind of see through my flip through. So that's about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry for disappearing. I'm trying not to do that again, but yeah, it happens. Stuff happens. But anyways, I hope that you guys have a fantastic week, weekend, day, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you next time. Bye!